Hey everybody, welcome back to our show this week. Hey, I'll tell you what, we are up in Chippewa County and they are actually a new sponsor of our show. And I never realized the amount of lakes that they have up in Chippewa County. Incredible amount of pothole lakes. We're up here today with Andrew Gullickson and his dad, Dean. And these guys really have this area dialed in. I'm gonna put on my Norfin gear here and uh, get ready. Andrew's out there already setting up a hub for us. We're gonna start off this morning fishing actually bluegills, and then we're gonna actually jump around to some of these other pothole lakes and try for crappies and maybe even some walleye fishing. So hold on to your heinies. Get something good. Ooh, that felt good. Ooh, come here, buddy. Let me see ya. Oh, good bike. Not huge, but good one. Oh, it looks like a good one, huh? A little better. Get the head good there. fighter, huh? Come on, Andrew. Ooh, there you go. The chunker. That's a good one. This is our fourth or fifth flag already this morning. Oh, he's bleeding. I better get him back here. But uh, uh, yeah, it, when you find these big flats, you tend to find the gills. And where you're finding the gills, the pike are sure to be close by. And the bass, too. We'll probably get some of them today as well. Ooh, this is a good one. I don't know what I got here, but oh my cats. That's a fight machine. Oh, got that on my new Meg's custom rod, too. Oh, 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 oh bingo. Look at that. That is an absolutely awesome crappie right there. What I did is I actually took my beaver tail and I shortened it up and squished the end of it. And uh, boy, that was a good battle. And that's what's cool about these new Mags custom rods too, folks. And this is our new Larry Smith edition right here. And that the sensitivity is awesome, but it's also got great backbone where you can actually work that jig. And that's, again, that's the cool part about when you're fishing, especially panfish, is you gotta have that locator down there and you're definitely watching to see how these fish react. I must have marked 20 fish and couldn't give them the bite, so I kept changing and changing and trying to change my cadence, and they didn't want that, so just shortening up that beaver tail really made a big difference. That's an awesome crappie. Built for fishermen, built by fishermen, um, really that says it all. It's the family here. It's, it's not a big, big conglomerate, it's a family. They treat you, you feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. Two has got over 17. Hey, God, guys, I'll be okay. I just wanted to make sure you're not gone.
Introducing the new and improved Heavy Metal from Heavy Shot. 16% more downrange knockdown power with new higher density bismuth pellets layered over corrosion resistant steel. Try the new Heavy Metal today and increase your odds. Tighter patterns, longer range, clean kills. Heavy Shot. I didn't come this far to miss. What's going on there? The line must have got twisted up a little bit. Oh, nice plate. Right out of the land himself. He's a spunky little there guy here, huh? That's an odd tip up. Nice job. Hey, I'll tell you what, a great way to kind of break up things. You know, we're jigging for crappies and bluegills, and uh, you put out a bunch of tip ups before we got here, and uh, now you baited them all up. It's been pretty good action on the tip ups. Is yeah. that is that typical for these kind of lakes to catch quite a few pike? Definitely, uh, pike and, and largemouth. Before you guys even showed up this morning, I just had Mitch set some and had a largemouth up the hole too, just a little guy. Hey, we would have been here a lot earlier, but you know, we got a millennial yeah. camera yeah. guy that, you know, th he doesn't like getting up. Uh, 3.30 <laughs> is his limit right there. You should know that. Yeah, but yeah, so yeah, Larry, kind of our plan today. Um, this area is just known for all of its lakes. We've got like over 200 lakes in Chippewa County. See, I never realized that Chippewa County had this many lakes and 30, 40 acres, and they can be up to 50 feet deep, huh? Oh, even, yeah, even deeper on a couple. That's There's interesting. Like the, the 60s. They're just kind of like bomb craters almost. Uh, and, you know, a lot of, a lot of crappies, a lot of gills in them on the weed lines. Um, and you can really kind of get, you know, if somebody's on your lake, you can, you can go to the next one. Hey, I'll tell you what, Andrew, so we're going to shift uh, to a different lake here and start jumping around a little bit. And that's yeah. kind of typical of this, these kind of waters like this too, huh? Yeah, when you got all these options, you might as well. You can change change your lake with the conditions and try and match it. Uh, this morning, it seemed like they were a little, gills were a little slow, tip-ups were flying. Yeah, the tip-ups um, definitely flying. I think uh, most of the crappies are going a little bit better than the gills. I, I think I got some hot stuff. It's kind of a crappie day today, what do you think? Well, right? it's, it's a crappie yeah. fisher. <laughs> Hang on to your hineys. Hang on to your hineys. Got another one? Got him. Andrew, you are on fire, my friend. Oh, that's kind of nice, you know? You were right about the, the crappies here. This They're Chippewa odd. County has definitely got a lot of great crappie lakes. They are, they're, they're just made for this, you know? You get these deep, a lot of them have a ton of bugs. You can't even see anything on the bottom because there's just so many bugs. And so good natural forage. Yep, and these crappies just absolutely love that. The bluegills don't do as well in that deeper bite for some reason, but crappies like that are pretty regular. Oh, there he is. Another one. Ah, they're getting bigger. So if we get into those 10. Lots of crappies, my friend. Yeah, 10, 12 inches. I love that pan fish bite me because I can fold all these up in my bucket. There we go. Good fish. Ooh, it does feel like a good one. Put them in my bucket so easily and they're super sensitive. Can't wait to use them out on Lake Winnebago, I'll tell you that. Ooh, that's a nice crappie right there. Gotta love that. Yo, bite me. You know, this is the new panfish uh, bite me tip up. And I'll tell you, these guys just came up with this last year and uh, they've done a fantastic job. Again, it's very portable um, and super, super sensitive, especially when you're fishing crappies, perch, and bluegills. Gotta love that. Yeah, I'll tell you what the key to setting these tip-ups up, and this is the panfish tip-up by Bite Me Box. And the great part is, um, what we're using here, I'm using a really small treble hook. Uh, some of them I've got a number 20 on, this one I've got a 16 on number. Uh, I like the gold too. The cool part about these tip-ups, again, is the sensitivity. And that's the big thing when you start talking about tip-up fishing. If you're fishing pike, it really doesn't matter a lot most days. But when you're fishing panfish or walleye, definitely having a very sensitive tip-up is everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm pulling it up to my line marker, which is that little bitty sinker I have on here. So I'm gonna pull that right up there. And then what I'm gonna do, basically, is I'm gonna put the weight on there 
and this is how I adjust my weight right here. So I can move the arm of the tip up to get whatever direction I want right here out of it as far as for sensitivity. See, that's a little bit stiff. So what I'll do is I'll actually move the tip up down a little bit. I don't want to move my weight any farther back. So then I'll test it again. I already know where it needs to be, so I'll go down again. Now watch how sensitive that is. Nothing, like absolutely no resistance, hardly at all. Life is messy, but thanks to Tubba Towels, I can take on anything. Tubba Towels' heavy-duty design prevents it from ripping. Each wipe has aloe, vitamin E, and lanolin, so our skin stays soft and smooth. Tubba Towels saves time, giving us more time to enjoy the moments. Manage the mess. Are you tired of dealing with frozen tip-ups? Check out the heated Bite Me Box tip-up with ultra-sensitive adjustable bite settings. No more cleaning out iced up holes. False wind trips are a thing of the past with our windproof flag. Interchangeable extra reel assemblies. Great for panfish and all big game fish species too. If you want to catch more fish with less hassle, check out our products and video demonstrations online at boxtipup.com. Magic Products is the fishing industry's number one leader in preserved bait and live bait storage. With hundreds of options in preserved baits, we have what you need for a successful day on the water. Hand-selected fresh bait and tested scents ensure the highest quality. Our live bait storage saves you money by keeping your bait alive and thriving. There it is! Look at the size of that! Holy moly! Just absolutely slobs. Whoa! Oh my god, I don't know if that's big enough. <laughs> Magic Products, we're the best in baits and bait care. Tell you what, definitely working it a little slower made a huge difference on that. Look at the old Vexlar. It's a decent crappie right there again. You know, that's the cool part about the show is basically learning all these different bodies of water. And you know, when you start thinking about the, the Midwest here, we have got a tremendous, tremendous amount of bodies of water to fish. You know, and it's kind of nice because typically I'm used to fishing really big water. Um, so it's kind of nice to come onto these lakes that can be anywhere from 30 to 100 to 150 acres. And the cool part about Chippewa County is that there's so many hundreds of these lakes and a lot of them are really deep bodies of water. And like Andrew was saying before, that's kind of what it takes to have really good crappie fishing because a lot of it is these real murky, muddy bottoms too. Uh, so there's a lot of different types of larvae and that's what these fish naturally are feeding on. But that makes a good crappie body of water right there. Hey, I'm loving it right there. Let's keep her moving on the beaver tail. Oh, that feels like a little better one. Oh, there you go. That's what I like to see. Just a nice average fish for this area. Pop it out here. Nice crappie in the basin here. So one thing that's really important when you're out in this these deeper water basins is I'm using a heavier, I've got a five millimeter tungsten jig and I'm fishing heavy because sometimes you'll get a mark down there and if you if you're waiting for a smaller jig to get down there, you're, the fish will be gone. And trying to stay on them can be really tough. These fish move a lot. Um, so you want to be able to either fish in, fish in tungstens that's, heavy, that's heavier, or even moving to spoons sometimes can really be a, 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 huge, a huge help. The other thing is I'm obviously fishing beaver tail bait. I've got it rigged double hooked with a lot of dangly going on and they won't rip that off. I'll fish that probably all day unless I want to change color. Um, 
and that really helps too because if I'm looking for waxies well there's a mark down there there's no way I'm getting to that fish in time is he on there oh I tell you what I'm trying to get some jigging in here but the bite knees the bite knees are flying oh there he goes yeah I got him doesn't feel like a monster, but a decent one, probably a keeper. You know, Andrew, on a lake like this, I think they should all be 10 fish limits. You know, there's, it doesn't take long. There's decent crappie right there. It doesn't take long at all to deplete a panfish Absolutely. system, for sure. Crappies in, in, in bluegills, for sure, can be easily fished out. So I don't know, you know, you're guiding up in these areas, but what's your opinion on keeping it down to like when you take clients out, maybe 10 or 15 crappies yeah. instead of 25? I like that 10, that's enough for a meal. I mean, I, I fed me, the wife, and two kids, and the, well, a little one didn't eat, eat much, but the, right. on, on 10, 12 fish. It kind you know, of makes you a little bit more selective too on what right. you keep when you, when you have that kind of limit too. You know, when you start talking about 10 or 15 crappies yep. um, or any type of panfish. Well, sorry about that bite me box, <laughs> right? Hey, again, what awesome, you know, it's kind of cool because it's in the middle of the day here yep. and fish are biting. They're going. Game on! Right. Oh, there he is. Boy, I tell you. Yeah, bite is on. There's another nice one. Right in the snout. Just like that, beaver tail is slaying them. Hey everybody, it is our Leroy lunchtime and today we've got some venison sweet and sassy sticks. You know, that's a great thing to do with your elk or your venison. Um, take them in over to Leroy's. Them guys got so many different things they make with them. Well, I'll tell you what, the fishing's been pretty good. I'll let you guys, uh, hey, I'm not that way. Uh -huh. Mitch, he doesn't say much anyways, but I'm really not going to say anything. <laughs> there we go. These bite knees are kind of cool. It's the first time I'm using them. But any tip up that's sensitive. Catch crappie. That's pretty sweet in my book. I love catching them on, on uh, minnows sometimes. And seeing that flag fly always just gets me going. I love that feeling. Hey Andrew, let's talk a little bit about Chippewa County here. You know, besides all the hundreds and hundreds of lakes there is here, is that there really is a lot of great places for people to stay and a lot of other things to do here too. Definitely, if you're coming up this winter, there's White's Wildwood Resort, which is a great place. You've got a bigger group of people. The Basswood Chalet is kind of more that that B and B experience, a small place. Oh, just missed oh, one. Yep. Dang it. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, if you're looking for other things to do, Irvine Park right now, they've got the Christmas lights on. They'll have that for a while. Uh, Liney's Lodge does their tours. Ooh, a little Liney's, yeah. huh? A little yep. summer shanty. Right downtown in Chippewa there. Um, some great places. If, you, if you're up in Bloomer, uh, which is up this way, you got to stop at Main Street Cafe for some pie. <laughs> Best pie. Oh, in, really? Oh, I'm all state. about the pie, brother. But no, there's, there's a ton to do here. We're not far from Chippewa Falls, and, uh, or excuse me, Eau Claire. Um, if you want to get out shopping, if you're bringing the wife up, you want to go fishing and she wants to go shopping, there's a lot there, tons to offer. It's you always got to have something for the ladies to yep. do if they don't want to fish. And we love them if, if they want to come out fishing. That's a lot of fun too. But if, uh, if they want something else to do or mix it up a little bit. So let's tell everybody, you know, how they can get a hold of you. Uh, and obviously they're going to want to book a trip and come up to Chippewa County and enjoy some of this awesome fishing. Yeah, definitely. You can find us at... Uh, uh, Backroads Guide Service on Facebook and you can give us a call at 715-577-7541 and uh, me and Mitchell will uh, try and put you on some of these crappies and gills and get some of these bike and, and bass trips going. The other thing Larry um, that I'm excited about later this year I start to do some some evening trips. Ooh, so I like that. A night bite. It's just a whole different experience. Right. Those lights for walleyes and crappies yep. or what? Yep, okay. Both of them. And there's a ton of snowmobile trails. I was just going to ask you that because I've got a couple really nice sleds. Yeah. And I would definitely like to come up and and that'd be a great way to check out a lot of these lakes too. And I, how many miles of snowmobile trail do you guys uh, have? Any idea? I, I know it's a lot. Know. It's a it's a lot. And a lot of these lakes are easier to get by snowmobile than by by vehicle anyways and uh, you know you got to get off the beaten track to get to some of the some of the better bites yeah I'm all about that for yeah. sure hey let's catch some more crappies huh all right
Hi, I'm Kate with Wings Over Wisconsin, and I'm proud to be part of an organization that concentrates on Wisconsin's natural resources. All the money that they raise for their banquet stays in the local area. That's how I was able to put in two beautiful ponds and some nesting habitat on my property. We encourage everyone to attend our banquets, or better yet, if you'd like to start up a chapter to create funds to do projects like this in your area, call our state office or visit our website, wingsoverwisconsin.org. Trophy Ice Fish, Green Bay's premier ice fishing guide service. Captain Lonnie Goldman specializes in trophy walleye and whitefish packages. Perfect for family, friends, and corporate outings. Restrooms on the ice and their exclusive shore lunch make Trophy Ice Fish the top choice for your ice fishing fun and comfort on the Bay of Green Bay. Check out TrophyIceFish.com or call Barbara at 920-255-2617 to book your ice fishing adventure. Attention, ice anglers. If you or a loved one have suffered from catching complications, looming boredom, or overwhelming humiliation among your peers, Call the Vexlar Group today. If you fish blind like a frozen zombie, you may be eligible to catch fish this year. If you've ever found yourself saying, you know, it's just nice to be out, you may be a struggling angler, and we know you're hurting. Please help stop this angling epidemic today by visiting www.vexlar.com. My name is Sam Sobey, and I approve this message. You know, the big thing too is like, I just caught one and I threw it back down and it's got a couple more down there. Make sure you never drop into that school. Always stop yourself at least two to three feet short of where you see the fish on your Vexlar and then start working that bait. You can start, you know, hold it there and work it. If they don't start coming after it, you can start slowly dropping it down. But it's very rare. There's a few exceptions where you, you can start feeding it to them. Um, where you actually drop it almost right into their mouth. But that's, that's a, a rare situation. But always try to keep the bait up above the fish for sure. So again, when you catch a fish, doesn't matter if it's a walleye, a white bass, a crappie like today, make sure when you're dropping back down, you've got three or four more down there. You don't drop into the lower ones. Always stay above them, make the fish come to you. I'll tell you what, I'm staying in the same place, everybody's walking around. It's definitely moving them fish, even in this 30 feet of water. There's a nice crappie right there. Gotta love that. You know, and that's kind of the key sometimes too, is anytime you're pan fishing, you wanna drill enough holes, but there's a big thing when it comes to light penetration, even in this 30 feet of water, is that when you're drilling holes, drill one hole and go at least another 20 to 25 feet and drill another one, but if you have several holes in a small area, you're putting all that light in there and it's so unnatural to the fish that that can be a deterrent. The little tips and little things you do always make a big difference when it comes to fishing. There we go. Really had to coax that fish. That's a great part about using that Vexlar. You want to catch more fish? Definitely buy yourself a good flasher. In a Vexlar, doesn't matter if it's, oh, that's a good one. Doesn't matter if it's an eight, 18, a 20, or the new FLX 30. I'll tell you what, put more fish on the ice, use a Vexlar. Hey, I'll tell you what, everybody, this is our first trip up to Chippewa County, and I am very impressed with the amount of lakes, just the surroundings, the good people that we've run into and the fishing has been absolutely awesome. You've been in the business a long time and, and you know, guiding is no doubt a passion for me for sure. Been doing it for over 30 years now, but you guys are really into this guiding and it's a great way to really, you know, have a lot of fun in the winter and it's, and it's an opportunity for you to teach people how to use another product that you are involved in, and that is beaver tail. Absolutely, I, you know, showing people how to use that, and I've always been somebody who, I, I like to watch people and help people catch fish more than I like to fish. Like you saw today, oh, yeah, I, for got sure. to her, I, I like to get the first four or five, but then I'm going over, you know, making sure you, you got the jig cadence going on. And, and that's just, the big thing about yeah. a guide, is that, you know, it's about the clients, no yep. doubt. Hey, let's tell everybody again how they can get a hold of you and I'm certain, I'm certain that they're gonna want to. Awesome, yeah, give us a shout at 715-577-7541 uh, 
or look us up on Facebook, Backroads Guide Service. Hey, I'll tell you what, Mitch, hey, we had an awesome time today with you and Andrew. You know, and again, that's what I love about, you know, what we do is got a new friend, got Mitch, you know, met him. Andrew, we've known you for a while, but that's what it's all about. And that's the great part about guiding. It's all about enjoying the outdoors and meeting new people. Hey, and that's what we love about what we do for a living. Absolutely. It's a lifestyle. Yes, it is. Hey, everybody, make sure you check out our podcast, We Eat, Fish Eat. Every Tuesday, we do an interview with usually somebody. Hey, we got to have you on our podcast I'll real soon. So, and also check out all of our other social media, especially all of our YouTube and Facebook. Remember, we're living in the greatest country in the world, and no doubt it is a great day to be alive. And we'll see you next week. Your track is ripped. It's ready to come off. I was just with you. No. I am like, I used to be a gymnast. No. Yeah, seriously. Yeah? You didn't know that? What did you used to do at the gym? He's the bottom of the pyramid looking up. Can't talk about that on national television. Okay, Mitch, I'm talking to a guy, producer, whatever else. He had three good ideas the other day on the podcast, so I'm going to give him that credit before I tear into his ASS. Can't say that stuff on TV. Hey, Mitch, how do you run your guide service? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha!